Hello guys, uh, today I have something uh, bigger than usual for you. So I got this little box quite a while ago, uh, probably like a month or so. When was the Black Friday? Uh, more than a month ago actually. And uh, it was sitting here for me to find actually time to look at it. And this is 3D printer. Yes, this is Tronxy. As you see here, Tronxy X1. This is the cheapest 3D printer I ever uh, bought because I paid for it 78 American dollars when it was in, on sale in hobbyking.com So it was crazy price and I decided uh, it was hard to resist plus I need like second small little teeny tiny printer which I can you know illustrate people how, it, how 3D printer work like and things like that also a little backup printer for to do any small miscellaneous things so here we are I got it for 78 American dollars uh, So today we're gonna take a look what the hell is that I know there are many people already done the review of this thing of Tronxy X1 and uh, Yeah, the probably there is there are opinions But I would like to actually open this thing up not to assemble it, but open this thing up and look at the quality of uh, manufacturing and see is it actually uh, worth $78 or it's a good deal or it's a bad deal or maybe this is f you know, this box full of junk parts which never gonna come together as a 3D printer or never gonna work as a 3D printer. So we're gonna take a look at that. Then maybe in the future I will show another video and actually put this thing together and set it up. But today gonna be just an unboxing and analysis of the quality of the parts. All right, this is pretty hefty box. Is It measures 35 by 33 by 15 uh, centimeters meters and um, yeah, so we're gonna open it because it was actually in one much bigger box which I was surprised was like it was like three times bigger box than that uh, so weird they ship this big ass box in comparison to what's inside but whatever I didn't pay for shipping it was free uh, so let's crack it open I have my trusty knife here alrighty uh, let's just uh... Ta -da! Okay, so obviously also going to be checking the quality of the packaging because it's quite important not to get parts damaged during shipping. And right out of the box we see this. What the hell we see? It's a USB cable. High quality, quality, quality. one meter. Then what do we see? What are the noodles of some sort? We see bunch of noodles. Is it? Joke? <laughs> Hilarious. Look at this PLA thing. It's probably shittiest PLA because it's all broken. It actually breaks pretty easily. So this is piece of crap. Actually, it's gonna go. Go, actually. It's went. Then what do we have? Okay, a little screwdrivers, bunch of tools. This probably clips just to affixing a print bed to the surface. Cool, like Allen keys, this is all good and dandy, another, it's not bad screwdriver, it's good to have. Alrighty, now we have USB, micro USB thingy, not too bad, a key, a wrench, sorry, a wrench, wrench. I'm gonna put the parts over here and slowly, ah, uh, oh, this box. 3D printed something, shitty quality, so it looks like we're gonna reprinting this thing. It's it has it's pitted over here, so their adhesion of, of the uh, let me zoom in, I'll show you. Adhesion to the bed was shit, look at those pitting. Uh yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look good already, but there is something, there's some kind of acrylic cutouts. It's not too bad. This is how it's supposed to be. Like, why not to make this? Oh, anyway. anyways. Then we have. Oh, limiting switches. XYZ limiting switches. And power connector, I presume. Yeah, power connector. And looks like I have to solder it. Okay, that's cool. Next. A power supply, 12 volt, 5 amp. This is all it needs? Seriously? Huh. Okay. 
I can replace it. I have much better power supplies than this garbage. What else? Some kind of something. I don't know what it is. It does look some sort of um, header of some sort. Okay, well, let's dig further. Hope I'm gonna put this all together after this uh, because you know I just keep. Oh, Gerolite print bed. This is not bad. I'm gonna use it for printing the. Uh, how do you call it? Oh shit, nylon, nylon. It's good for nylon actually. Gerolite print bed is good for nylon. Love it. Okay, that's gonna be experiment actually. If this uh, Gerolite print bed can be used in other 3D printer for something useful. All right. Oh, bunch of stuff, bunch of parts over here. I, uh, we will figure out what is this for. But so far, they. Oh my God, this is heavy piece of. Woohoo! That's a hunk of acrylic plastic, eight millimeter thick, or whatever quarter inch, like eight six millimeter, something like that. It's probably some sort of casing. We'll figure this all later. Or maybe this is actually look like a print bed or uh, some screws. This is case of the power supply or, or the main unit. This comes like this, I guess. Okay, well, this is all nice and dandy. This is good quality. I don't ha I have no problem with all this. Oh, and here is the business end. Sorry, press freaking plastic, go away. Okay, this is what I want to see. This is quite important to me. Let's start from Z-axis motor. Looks like it's Z-axis because okay, this is not a fixated or fixed. Okay, what's good here that the motors have uh, headers over here, so they can be plugged in and unplugged um, easily. My other uh, 3D printer. Uh, it has wired things and for example, it's so much easier you have to like You know fish all wires in order you actually want to replace the motor or you want to check if the motor is okay because sometimes there are uh, some glitches could be um, Wires actually, but this actually introduced one extra fault point So if this motor is shaking this can got loose so far this motor seems to be good it rotates smoothly no, the problem. Oh, but guys, by the way, do you know if you do this, you will generate electricity over here. So watch out not to spin your steppers because you may, well, I mean, like X, Y, Z, uh, not to spin them too much because you may generate electricity and fry your motor drivers. Yep. Well, I guess it's known, uh, but just FYI. Okay, more motors. So this one sounds differently. This one is look like for me is the drive for extruder. Notice this, that one X or Y because it has the gear over here and this is clearly to drive the belt. And it's probably gonna look the same or similar. Yeah, that's pretty much X and Y. So X and Y looks similar. Okay, this is not too bad so far. What the hell is this? Bunch of parts. This uh, looks like a mount for, for motor mount and things like that. We'll figure out all this later, but so far we're just unboxing and checking the material quality and whole bunch of screws. Some of them are just screws, some of them are T-slot uh, mount thingies, which are cool, a whole bag of them. So it's, I'm not too, no, you know, I'm not too afraid if I'm gonna lose bolt, um, screw or bolt or two because I have so much different, a uh, bunch of different screws, M3, M4, you name it. And so, actually I was mistaken. Oh no, no, oh here is business end. So this is the most interesting part for me because I was, I wanted to know how this look like. So what we have here, this is actually metallic construction of um, um, a hot end and it's bolden type, it has uh, rollers so it's gonna slide on some kind of rail. Uh, this is bolden, it's probably, isn't it a bit too short, isn't it? I don't know, I don't know, let's see, let's see. this looks too a bit too short to me. Uh, okay, so we have uh, where that it's probably fan. That's thermo thermo um, thermo resistor or thermo sensor. And weird that you have to solder this shit. The heat cartridge you have to actually solder it. Let's open this up quickly and see what's going on in there. Inside, what kind of hot end is that?
All right. But it's like, because of that uh, metal thing, it's pretty heavy. Okay, I have... This actually remind me some of the... Where I see? I see... I see... It. I saw similar hot end somewhere. Don't remember where. It's kind of copy, copycat of something already known. Curious if I can mount something more uh, advanced like a E3D or something. I actually have a few hot ends lying around. I can just try to play with them because... But more, all of mine are direct mount. So I'm not sure that's gonna fly because, you know, you have to have a motor here. Uh, this metal plate looks good so far. I have no complaints here. I'm just not sure how this dinky uh, cooler gonna work. Uh, sorry, uh, radiator or heatsink gonna work. Fan is obviously as Chinese as it can be. Tron uh, Tronxy brand. Well, we'll see. Because this is actually a paramount part of this. And by the way, uh, another funny thing. If this opening would be larger, efficiency of the fan would be better because the diameter of blades are so much larger than this stupid opening. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Maybe, you know, reprint this thing from... Because this is pretty heavy. And actually heavier the hot end is, the worse, the more jerk force you have to apply or acceleration force to actually move it in and out. Anyways, this seems to be okay so far. Few attention to details, like for example, this nice cutout over here for the cables to go and things like that. There's some holes over here, interesting. What for? Uh, yeah, by the way, one of the very important parts is that this thing doesn't have f uh, part cooling fan. So that's quite important. Maybe this is to mount part cooling fan. So that would be smart. Yeah, so bearings. So the unless this is actually tight, let me try to. This bearing is either shot or barely spinning. Like it's really hard to spin. This one is good, this one is good. So this bearing will require some attention. Yeah, it's really, really, really yeah. I'll need to regrease it or maybe just ditch it and see if I have similar bearing to replace it with. This, those two are fine, and actually even this one is a bit kind of stiff, but yeah, this is really stiff. No, no, it's still... Hmm. Okay, well, hot end is okay. Probably good for Pele out of the box. Let's put it here. What else do we have? A bunch of wires. Uh, X, Y, Z. Z1, Z2. <laughs> Uh, why is it one Z2? It's interesting why you have two Zs. X, Y and Z1, Z2. That's that's interesting. Usually my other printer or rigid bot, it has two Z drive motors here. Uh, but you have only one here. Uh, interesting. So those are looms and wraps and bunch of... How do you call those? Um, zip ties. Cool. Okay, we have also cable. It's obvious. Uh, Wait, what? Ah, yeah, for the power supply. Ooh, here's the business. More business and stuff. Aluminium spacer of some sorts, or... Ah, these are for the, this the frame standoffs. So, yeah, frame to, to mount uh, 90 degrees uh, frame parts. Okay. Okay, this is Z-rod part. That's uh, rollers for X and Y, I guess. Bunches. I'm curious what's the quality of those rollers. Because bearings are quite important. E oh, holy shit! This is not even spinning! Amazing! I mean, amazing. It's bullshit. So that has to be addressed. I guess maybe that's why the thing was sold for $78. Which probably 100 Canadian dollars. So, oh my god! Can I even pull the push those out? Because if I can use some solvent actually to di dissolve that whatever stuck grease and regrease them. And what I see here is actually two bearings side by side. And here's two bearings. Yeah, two bearings side by side. In between there is a spacer of some sort. Interesting. Okay, bearings are those are shot. So not shot per se. They probably okay, but the grease inside completely. Um, how do you call it? I call it caramelized. That happens to the shitty grease. Okay, what do we have here? It's probably same situation. Very crooked uh, guide for the uh, how do you call it for the for the belt. 
Yep, because they use the spring washers and this is obviously look like shit. We'll have to redo this. What we have here, this is not... Oh, this is metal, 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 Bowden extruder contraption where do you, I think, where you mount your motor and this is all aluminium, which is good because some people were making this stuff out of 3D printed stuff, so it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, heavier this thing is, it's better. Okay, and now the most important thingy is the driver board or controller board, let's take a look at this stuff, I think this is gonna be fun. Already? Okay, where my, where's my knife? Okay, open up. Sesame, open up. So... I love this. Oh my god, oh, now I understand. So this is generic controller, okay? And right out of the box, I, I just jumped in... Um, Look at this. So this is Z uh, motor uh, driver, and here is Z motor driver as well. So Z1, Z2, but Z2 is shorted because obviously there is no Z2. But we have extra cable. Cool. So X, Y, Z extruder motor. This is probably power and stepper. Sorry, not stepper. Um, uh, power. What does this say? Hot hot bed. Hey, we have pretty cool controller which actually has extra um, extra stuff which can control even hotbed, like a two hotbed connectors. So this is totally hotbed upgradable. So cooling cooling fan controls here as well. Look at this, it's awesome. A fan, cooling fan, X stop, Y stop, Z stop, bed temperature, extruder temperature. Amazing. Everything is here. This is like the pro programming header. This is probably for LCD. Yeah, yeah, that that gray. What the hell is that cable? Yeah, this one. So we're gonna have some LCD driver somewhere. Like this goes for that. Uh, one, two, three, four drivers. Obviously for uh, four step motors. Atmel, Atmega. Uh, what is what kind of controller is this? Let me check much closer. 128.4p. That's pretty basic Arduino style controller. Uh, there is a reset button, there is some kind of jumper over here, and that's pretty much it. But what's cool, I loved it, that you actually can't drive to that motor. This is this is pretty generic board which can be used like for anything. It's cool. Uh, there is some logic over here. Uh, crystal. Slo uh, I'm curious, what is this crystal for? Twelve megahertz crystal. It's just sixteen megahertz crystal. Two crystals. So one of those one of those chips. I need to check what the hell is that. So one of them is just logic. Another one is something more. Maybe some sort of microcontroller, but it has a separate crystal for it. There's nothing on the bottom. So yeah, I assume this is by the way twelve volt. Uh, uh, oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. Is the power in? then hot end and hot bat. So this is 12 volt system. So this is gonna be shit to warm up uh, hot bat. So hot bat has to be driven by something else, not by this crap. Yeah, yeah, 12. My other printer 24 volt and it's huge. It has huge hot bat and it takes forever to heat up 200, 110 uh, degrees. Okay, well, this is so far okay. There is, you see no problem except all this stuff is integrated, which if one goes Yeah, pretty much can throw away this 3d printer thing Sorry 3d printer controller board. Let's put it back Inside I said inside inside inside. Okay, and put it aside. What we have here? So here we are. This is probably LCD thingy and the uh, button the uh, you know uh, some button controller and I'm not sure if it has any kind of separate circuitry. No, it doesn't. So oh okay now I got it. So that microcontroller over here is actually drives the LCD. That hence it requires separate circuitry. So they couldn't use for example uh, Arduino a mega or something which would do the both jobs together so they spin another microcontroller just for that 
Right, so here we are. Uh, pretty basic. Uh, I don't know if you see it. Look at this crooked stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty. How, how you say? How you do it, eh? So there is some kind of spacers. Looks like shit, but it. Okay, it looks okay. Actually, I saw some blobs. There are some blobs underneath. So technically. Technically, this thing has own driver. Okay, well, I'll take my words back. So, I don't know, the other chip probably some sort of communication between this and that. Because this stuff has controller inside. So, this is dot matrix probably um, sc uh, LCD screen. And it requires a little bit more than just like a simple microcontroller. Anyway, this is good, but I would never use probably screen. I don't give a shit about it because I'm always going to drive this by the computer. So, I don't care. I may even not even connect it. Okay. Let's go to the actually frame. So th these are the frame components over here. So they are P slot rods. And let's look at the, what the hell is this dinky stuff? Whoa, is this like a Z? <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, at least it looks straight. No, it's even not even straight. It's kind of straight. Let's. It's slightly bowed, we can fix that. Anyways, so this is Z drive uh, shaft. It's regular, I don't know if it's regular or... Actually, quality is good, the problem is it's super thin. I didn't even know that, didn't realize even for, for cheaper printers they use these kind of things. Interesting, because mine is like 8 millimeter. This looks more like 5 or 4, jeez. Okay, well, I mean, what you can say. This this is sucks. This is really cheap, actually. Let's take a look at he at this. So qu uh, quality of these are okay, but holes here have lots of uh, bits and piece pieces of metal sticking out, so you can cut yourself accidentally. This is all. Excuse me. So this is aluminium, not big big deal, but still, like, yeah, all metal shaving is all over the place. So watch out not to get this metal shaving in here, otherwise, gets gonna be no good. So this is another, oh my god, <laughs> looks like they just drilled it, uh, sorry, glued it together and just drilled it because this metal shaving is like everywhere. Yeah, that's pretty bad actually, and there is another part like this. Okay, so I still have to figure out how this uh, all comes together, because out of the blue, uh, and I just tried to started disassembling this thing. Obviously, I, uh, I can actually, I'm pretty sure I can actually do it after having assembled several 3D printers of different kinds. But still, like, I mean, it's always curious um, and interesting to, uh, to do it yourself. But if you want to do it efficiently and quickly, better to read the user manual. Because even with my 3D printer, I had to disassemble some parts back because I, you know, installed them backwards with my big 3D printer. So I think this is all we got here. Is it? Yep, this is all it. So overall impression, I think even just sheer amount of parts here, totally worth uh, 78 American dollars. Uh, 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 yeah, I think it's totally worth it, even if this printer is not going to come out like a something, you know, um, very useful and high quality, I still can re recycle parts because I always need some like stepper drivers, stepper motors for anything um, you know, of my other projects, but I really believe I don't see anything badly stand out over here, except maybe this 3D printed, shitly 3D print part, but still I think still, this is, I, I bet, a bomb dollar, this is like, no, no, oh, yeah, this is probably how it's gonna go, this is Z drive um, mount, and it's okay, and then the story can just reprint it, another printer, no big deal, uh, yeah, uh, so my first impression is actually pretty positive, guys, I think for this amount of money, I don't know if you can get it because actually uh, after Black Friday I saw it for 92 or something dollars um, on Hobby King. It's still decent buy because first of all you can um, get yourself a 3D printer which you have a lot of fun assembling. This is the most 
uh, kind of cool part, but this is like a buying a child toy which you assemble together. Uh, sorry, assemble, yeah, put it together and you see how it works. You learn when you do that. This is probably going to be good uh, kit for a teenager. Probably going to be great uh, Christmas present for a teenager because it would be a um, uh, very educational kit. So when a kid or teenager going to put it together, you will learn a lot how 3D printer and electronics work. And then, you know, if uh, even if you want to buy it for yourself, it's still pretty cool because you would learn, it would have fun if you have nothing else to do. For example, instead of watching some stupid TV show, you can uh, build a 3D printer. This is so much cooler than wasting your time watching TV or something like that. So guys, I think it's gonna be it because there is nothing else to talk here about. Uh, next video will be assembling of this thing and we will see how it performs. Thank you guys for sticking with me and see you next time.